Yeah, I mean, when I, when I was there in the United States three weeks ago, I looked at it and I thought, well, you know, every group of people that I came in contact with from all spectrums think this man is a complete and total lunatic and they would never vote for him. So I'm trying to figure out, and I've asked a couple of other people that we've talked to on the podcast, where is his support other than just the, you know, your, the loony far right Uncle Joe who has six rifles and, uh, you know, <laughs> is walking around with a wife barefoot and pregnant and, uh, you know, uh, anyways. Yeah, I, I, I have only met a few of the Trump supporters um, in person. And, and actually, the one I met was a, a, a Mexican immigrant lady who was, again, you know, uh, oh, uh, you know, in, in heavily accented English telling me how uh, she's so happy that Trump's going to sweep out all, all the quote unquote illegal immigrants. And, and I'm thinking, I hope there's not a language test or an accent test because you're going to fail. You know, these people, uh, I, they, they, they swallow the, the hook, but yeah, I really, I'm also, I'm in California. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really seeing those people around here. Well, um, I guess but, we, uh, we, we need to, we need to make sure you uh, go across the border into Nevada and Arizona to, uh, make yeah. sure the registration efforts happen <laughs> there. Yeah. You know what I was thinking about, like, where, where could I go help? Uh, and uh, and not get my my butt kicked. 